everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I have for you a little tour of my Halloween decor here in my entryway. Um, I did a little bit of decorating in here and I thought I would show y'all what I have done. So here is my um, vintage or antique uh, sewing machine um, and I did a little decorating here with some items that um, a mixture of thrift, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, um, just a few little things there. I have this really cool um, vase that I got at Dirt Cheap. I added the word flower to it like a Ray Dunn dupe and um, added some orange roses to it. Here is my um, pumpkins that I made out of a Dollar Tree supplies. And then here is my tree. I really, really like how the tree turned out. It is a black Christmas tree that I picked up at Walmart this year. And it is full of Dollar Tree things got some witch legs poking out i got some scary eyeballs that are actually flower bouquets different little things another ghost that i put um, creepy cloth on we have those um salad tongs that are the hands sticking out big bows some um sorry you're seeing my light back there but uh here's just one of those um wooden press board signs that you get i put a bow on it this is my favorite this witch's hat i made out of a form of from the dollar tree turned out really nice and it really made the tree um, a lot taller and more substantial. Cute little black cat. More of the hands. Just some little little decor. The little with uh, the little ghost I put creepy cloth on and I took their eyeballs off of the actual um, form. It was like that, and I glued them on the top. Some, some little, I guess they're like rat skeletons. I even put Christmas balls back there just to add some sparkle and shine. I always add those in the back of the tree to add some dimension. Let me come around. I think those may have come from... I guess they came from the Dollar Tree or Dollar General. I can't remember. I took this really cool plastic skeleton, glued her up, made her a little sassy, put her a bow on top of her head and it turned out really cute. Glued her little legs. Super cute. I love it. Some little green witch. Such fun. I put the... Um, the deco mash in there and some of the like oh i don't know what tubing i don't know what you call that some glitter pumpkins with some i put the little uh lint, the sticks from the yard and made them little bows kind of juice them up a little bit some more hands there's the back of the uh, witch's hat some more legs, uh, witch's legs. Another wooden sign that I used up, distressed it, added some, a stick and some um, jute bow to it. Here's a three, um, like a topiary um, of pumpkins, distressed it and added a bow to her hair another skeleton just 
here's some Christmas balls in there to add some some sparkle and shine just super cute I love it I did a garland really not my favorite but I did it anyway I won't show you the whole thing I really wasn't too fond of it but I left it up I'll probably take it back apart and try again next year so that is that that is it really for the Halloween decor inside the house. I did a little bit outside, um, not as much as I usually do. The mosquitoes have been really bad here in Texas and it was really hot. So we'll take y'all outside and show y'all around the porch. I didn't do much out here, but just a, a little bit, hung some creepy eyes. some um, a Frankenstein and a mummy put a little pumpkin he's creepy kind of a little creepy his eyes um, light up at night my all my plants are doing really fabulous right now really really good Put some of the little styrofoam tombstones out just to add a little little something let's see if you come come around here there we go I added some pillows to my to my chairs added a little fall decor up there a, a wreath and a hello fall sign another little trigger treater mother pillow a hello sign that from the dollar tree that i distressed and added a little bow to a little stick from the yard um see this pumpkin is the same as the other one that i showed y'all but this one split in half and you can't glue it because it won't take glue. So I tied it together. I was like, I am not going to let you go to waste. We're going to use you. So I tied it together with jute and uh, let it have a second life. Put out this little fall picture. Some artwork that I got at one of the thrift stores. Another um, headstone. I added some crates and I believe that is about it guys that is what I did it wasn't a whole lot but it was just enough to give us a little touch of um, holiday around here hope everyone has a awesome um, Halloween whatever that means to you if you're going trick-or-treating if you're staying in or you know whatever i won't be going anywhere of course my kids are all grown but i wanted to do a little bit of something and um just did a few touches here and there so i hope you are having a great day a great saturday if you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button become part of my friends here on youtube and y'all have a happy halloween Bye, guys.